In this video, we're going to take a look at the cookie cutter. In order to see this tool in action, you might want to go ahead and open the cookiecutter.jpg file, which is located within the chapter 9 folder within your project files folder. The cookie cutter is found just over here within the tool panel. What this allows us to do, essentially, is draw a shape over our image, and when we let go, you'll find that we've now added the image within that shape area. You'll notice from the layers panel, we have the image and also what we call a vector mask. So this is the heart and the shape that we're seeing here. And within that, we're seeing the image. So essentially, this gray area in the mask is the area that's being hidden. And the white area within the heart is the area that we're seeing. Now let me undo that. I'm just going to press escape here to not accept those changes. And I just want to show you some of the options available within the tool options bar. You can see here, if we didn't want a heart, we could change the shape. We could choose any one of these shapes that ship with Photoshop elements. I might choose maybe this butterfly here. You'll notice I also have some shape options. At the moment, when I click on this little arrow, I've got an unconstrained shape. I can define the proportions or define the size. I can type in a fixed size and have this draw out from the center. For now, I'm just going to leave it at unconstrained. I'll click out of there and show you also that I can apply a feather to this. If I change the feather to maybe around 30 and press return, now when I draw out a shape, you'll see that it has a nice soft edge. You won't see that at first until I accept this by clicking on the little green tick, just like that. So you can see my feather was actually quite radical and that's why I can't really see the defined shape. So let me undo that, Control Z will get me back. I'll change this down to maybe around 10 this time and I'll also turn on crop. Crop means when I draw out my shape just like this, when I accept this, the image is going to be cropped to the size of the butterfly, as you can see there. Now, you may not like this blurry effect, and if you don't, it's just a matter of changing the feather. Now, the feather and how intense it is will depend on the resolution of the image. As you can see here, I've got a resolution of 72 pixels per inch, and that's why these slight amounts of feathering are looking so radical. Let me undo this once more, and I just want to show you one more thing. Before I do that, I'll set this back to maybe three pixels for the feather. And now if I drag out a shape, you can see it's being distorted, right? both when I go to the left and right and up and down. If I want to constrain this, all I need to do is hold down shift. Once I hold down shift, this increases in proportion and the correct scale is acknowledged. So I'll let go of this now. And what you'll find is I can press the green tick to accept this or press this little circle here with the slash through it to cancel. I'm happy with this, so I'll press the green tick. And as you can see, that looks nice and soft. And I've now cropped out the image and everything's feathered and looking good.